Vincent Devine yeah. is an artist, mm. and he's painted a, a triptych, a, a beautiful painting of you that is so full of meaning <laughs> and metaphor <laughs> yes. that uh, I want to share it with uh, our viewers at home. Uh, let's have a look at Vincent's painting. And Vicky, why don't you tell us what we're looking at here because it is quite something. There you are. Yeah, it's, it's a, a triptych of me um, and there's three different pieces. So the, it's meant to be read from left to right. So we begin with the horse on so the left. So the left yeah. panel, is a, there's a black horse and that's, so it's the past, the present and the future. Okay. So the black horse represents my past and the horse is kind of uh, not rearing up, but he's kind of stopped, he's stuck in motion and that kind of can represent one of two things you know my life was stopped in its tracks really when I had my car accident 25 years ago and you know uh, on a, a number of other occasions yeah. between my daughter's accident my cancer you know I've had to fight quite a lot sure. uh, so that can represent that but it also represents a black horse is often something that represents cancer yes so again I've kept my cancer stopped in its tracks okay. with all the research like I've done. It. Yeah. And the middle picture then? So the middle one is me in all my glory. Some people found this gruesome when I showed it to them and I thought, no, it's not gruesome. So it's, it's, it's Vincent is fantastic. He's an amazing painter um, and he puts so much effort into to all his work uh, and so much research. So it's an anatomical version. So basically it's my body anatomically correct with all my tumours. So he painted my tumours on really thick paint, ripped them off, and he actually has them in little boxes. Uh, he's painted uh, um, lots of all my scars, so he asked me where all my scars were from my accident. Everything is painted on correctly. Um, and it's literally, uh, the, the whole point of the, me being, and it's not naked, because somebody said to me, you're naked, I said, I'm not naked. It's, it's literally, it's making the invisible visible. Did I you think pose for this? Yes, I did. Where? Yeah. On the beach. You in sat in a chair on the beach. I sat in a chair on the beach in Doombeg. Yeah, your favorite, one of your favorite my places. My favorite place in the world. Yeah. And <laughs> what time of the year was it? It was September, okay. so it was, it was just in between the two lockdowns. So we, okay. we were lucky that you know, because that was the crucial part of the painting, Union. really, to get me sitting for this portrait. I you love know? the shamrock, by the way. Ah, uh, so do I. The that shamrocks. was my idea. Was it really? Yeah, if yeah. you see, really look again closely. It's, it's right around your kind of the neck area. So it's on my heart. On your it's heart. It's on my heart. So there's a little shamrock there on my heart, and that's to represent the Irish people who have taken me to their heart and who literally you know I have taken to my heart and who have literally kept me alive and going with prayers socks knitted stuff <laughs> gifts honestly <laughs> I get so much stuff in the post it's, it. uh, it's, it's just um, it would yeah. absolutely you know just cheer you up on, uh, on any day and you know you deserve nothing less and the final piece of the triptych then. so the final piece of the triptych then is a white horse and the white horse is looking back and that can be seen two ways it, it can either be seen as me, uh, you know, in the afterlife, looking back on a life well lived, and that's one of the good things about this. It's a painting of hope. So, yeah. you know, it, there's footprints then going off the canvas, and that's either me going off into the afterlife or going off to the horizon in America for, you know, for, more for, years for, for and, and hope. So it's hope. It's a painting of hope. I hope that's the way people would see it. Oh, what a great word uh, yeah. to kind of conclude our. That 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 trip is going to be. Uh, auctioned at Shepherd's yep. Auction House for Heroes Aid. Exactly. So, so. The, Vincent has very, very kindly donated his time, well the painting, um, to Heroes Aid to raise funds for the charity, and it's going to be auctioned by Shepherd's, um, I think, on the 4th of February. Heroesaid.ie for more details. Heroesaid.ie for more details. I hope you know how respected you are, but not just respected, how beloved you are in this country. You are a remarkable person, you are a remarkable citizen. And people know that. You need to be told that, even <laughs> if it's just by me. I hope I'm not taking, uh, being out of step by saying this on behalf of everyone watching tonight. You need to know that when you cross that bowl of bitter tears, as it was once yeah. called, the Atlantic, that it's, it's a two-way trip. Mm. You're coming back. I'm coming back, yeah. Vicky, we do love you. Thank you. And we admire you. And we thank you. But this isn't our last encounter. No, absolutely You know not. that. No, no. No, I'm stubborn anyway, you know. I, I know I that. I won't go anywhere without a fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Please take our, our, our uh, wind in your sail. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you very much. And thank you as you go. to everybody in the country, honestly. You know, uh, I don't think people realise the support has really, you know, uh, been so good for me. Um, it really does drive me on and help me. Um, I don't think people realise how much. Take care. Thank you. Good luck, and we'll build and live for that one word, which is hope. Thank you, Vicky Phelan. Thank you, Ryan.